As with just two weeks to go until the start of the new legislative session, a political showdown continues. Lieutenant Governor Michelle Fishbach is being sued in Ramsey County Court for trying to hold two prominent government seats at the same time. This was all prompted by the resignation of U.S. Senator Al Franken earlier this year. Fishbach automatically became our state's lieutenant governor when Tina Smith was appointed to succeed Franken in the U.S. Senate. Before all of this, Fishbach was the president of the state Senate, and she has remained adamant that she wants to hold both seats. A hearing in the case was held this morning in St. Paul, and Mary McGuire was there in the courtroom, and she joins us now with more. Well, Ali, the political dominoes began tumbling after Senator Franken's resignation and Tina Smith's promotion. Now the issue of whether or not a person can hold two offices in two different branches of government at the same time is playing out in court. Now in a small courtroom on the 14th floor of the Ramsey County Courthouse this morning, the two sides argued their case before a judge. One of Fishbach's constituents in Painesville filed the lawsuit and argues holding those two offices is unconstitutional. Fishbach's legal team disputes that and says the the legal precedent is there. The judge took the case under advisement, and now the waiting game for his decision begins. Asterisk on every vote. I mean, that could be chaotic. It, obviously, it's a very close uh, uh, neck and neck Democrat, Republican Senate. And um, not that everybody votes on party lines. Of course, they don't, but there's close votes. And uh, what, we're what we're trying to say is let's not wait for an issue and have lawsuits about votes. Male senators have served in both roles before. We are confident that our the precedent that we have not only there and in the Supreme Court case will will be followed. Now the new legislative session begins on Tuesday, February 20th, meaning time is running out to sort all of this out before things get underway at the state capitol. Now both legal teams do expect the judge to decide on this issue relatively quickly. The plaintiff's attorney says he expects to learn about a decision in about a week, Allie. All right, Mary, thank you for the update.